you become all that is, which is beyond time and space. That's the whole point. And time and space becomes one little speck at that point, and there's this like infinite uh, <clears throat> span. But the idea is that if you're spinning, it's like a plate made of an equilateral triangle or spaghetti on the plate or anything like we used to do in school. If there's more in one area, and it's like the ego isn't as balanced as the mind with the heart, and it's like all is out of whack, okay? If you can't interchange the two, and they're literally, you can scrunch them and make them all one point, and you can squeeze them down into that fractal point and, and expand it back out the other end. If it's offset because one's heavier than the other, and you're trying to say, I'm spiritual sort of this because your ego is doing it this way, it's usually the ego that's off balance. The other two can't actually be out of balance. It's the, this world is the only one that has a measurement to it. Everything else is just pure isness. Um, basically, if the ego is out of balance, that's it. That's really the only one that can be out of balance. So everything else, they're, they're linked to the point where you get more spirit, well, guess what, the other two expand. But uh, if the ego then wants more, or, or wants less and is afraid, is, is, is overly aggressive, but more afraid, when that thing spins up, which is the, the mapping of it instantly expanding and instantly shrinking down, eventually, oh great, eventually it, uh, it, it breaks. I was gonna say, maybe it shuts off. Eventually it breaks because the weight's distributed uh, in, in an imbalanced manner, uh, 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 improperly, it's an unequal distribution which is kind of what we have. Everything in this world is proving this collective mind is in equal distribution. Not in equal, but in, in an unequal distribution. Money, you know, media, truth and knowledge, aggression, sexuality is all imbalanced. Everything is out of whack. Every aspect of this place is proven to be not sacred because that's what it's representing. And it's not that you fix the sacred stuff there because again, that's going around saying, this has got to be sacred and this is sacred and don't do that because this said not to do that. No. You go, you, you do it because it's who you are and you know it. The idea is when it's imbalanced like that and it breaks apart, okay, so how do you fix that? You put everything back into alignment. So when everything is spinning and it's wobbling you off your center, how do you fix the fact it's like a top that's on a plate that's bent with like a dome or something, but has a little divot on top where it's centered. And so if it's spinning and it goes off that, that angled plate, okay, it's going to be, it's going to want to go down around the edge. And then it's gonna, the farther it goes, the harder it's going to be pushed to get it back into center. Like you're balancing something, spinning plate balancing like the people in the circus. And as soon as it gets over this way, you're going to have to do 10 times the amount of energy that you had doing this in order to, to push hard and get the energy back balanced. That's part of the extraction where people go so hard that they're going to need to balance themselves to get this right. It would break their arm and it's impossible. The dark faction did such a good job and we fell so asleep that it would all just dissolve if we had to do it all in the sense that, I mean, it's not that we don't do it on our own. It's just that there's help. It's not, it's not wrong to accept help. Okay. And there's multiple, multiple layers of help. But the idea is how do you get that plate, that top, whatever it is back in balance, you move the centerpiece of where that weight is, the center of gravity back to the center of the, the thing it's spinning over, the, the, this equilibrium, this convergence point of the physical dimension of our, our mind. We move the, the intention point of who we are instead of being externally projected from one aspect or the other of this polarity construct from some event that occurred in the past or some event we're worrying about in the future or some external aspect that is not in the center because nobody can point to the exact center of another person. We can guess and, and just feel, but only you know, meaning to do it, you have to do it. To move into harmony, it's something that you do, only you can do. It's the only action that's the purely truest free will of, of, of being, and it's the, the action that is a non-action because all you do is stop trying to regain control by bouncing yourself back around the side of this, this hurricane of events that are distracting everything. You let that go, and you move calmly back into the center, and you just be. That's the first phase, which is harmonization. The second is uh, you have to build power. In that center state, state it's like a, a ballerina or a figure skater when they spin, I can't remember the term, they go into their spin and they have their arms way out here. What happens when they bring everything in? They get tighter in that zero point fractal. Energy increases. Mm -hmm. Energy increases because velocity increases. Velocity and energy increases because the change happens to their mass, but that's not really the basis of it. But the idea is they have more power. And so if, if they're spinning slow and it's like their hands out here, okay, it's not going to hurt. If they it's been fast and you like get chipped with their, uh, you know, their, their blade or something. It's going to hurt a lot more. They spin so fast. I don't know. It's like amazing. And that's just figure skating. So imagine your consciousness, which is made out of light. Um, so these crafts do the same thing. 
When you do that, you're opening up a, a gravitational or temp spatial temporal distortion field that interacts with multiple dimensions simultaneously. And your body becomes the ego consciousness or the, the body consciousness into the long body. That's why when you do that, you're feeling a, a, a higher power. And what you're doing is withdrawing your energy from this illusion. We're withdrawing your energy from being all out here and located here and being held by this person and entanglement and attached to this idea. And you're letting that go, which is it's like the monkey who has or the, ch ch the kid with the Pringles in his hand in that movie that he couldn't let go. It's actually in, um, I can't remember what it was, like one of Will Smith's, like a uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air or something like that. I can't remember. It was some movie. But it's also the, if you see how, uh, I think an Aborigine finds water or a Bushman, tribal Bushman finds water and he, he uh, puts a bunch of uh, seeds in a hole he digs in the ground and it's thin, but then it opens up so he can get a monkey can get a big handful and the monkey's curious. So he just goes into the hole and uh, Bushman goes and hides and he grabs a handful of seeds, which he probably doesn't even know what it is, but he just knows it's something good. And then the Bushman comes up and puts a, a leash around his neck. And the point is the monkey's trying to get away, but because his hand's in a fist and he doesn't, he's not smart enough to let go of the seeds and, and slide his hand out and run away, his hand gets caught. And so, um, uh, and then he, he, he uses that, he feeds him salt and the next day follows him to the, to the water hole. And so uh, why did I go into that now? Because I can't remember how I was going to connect to it. But um, the, the first is harmony. The second is uh, power. And so uh, I can't remember how I was tying that together. But um, I mean, if, if eventually it'll make sense because I can see a secondary way, for instance, uh, if we have, okay, so well, I guess the attachments that we have on the outside. The first, the, the, the basic idea is that to, when you go through that compression sequence, if you will, the added information that is related to the ego can't go through that zero point fractal. It's the eye of the needle, the, the wealth, the, 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 the richness, the, the, the ignorance doesn't belong there. It doesn't go through its filler material that's represented to this uh, existence. That's what it is. That uh, it's, it's even better than that explanation. It's allegory. It's the idea that you have to let it go, what you think you're gaining by trapping yourself in this world of attachments in order to get through that passageway. You have to let it go. If you hold on, like, no, but this is, I came here for that. No, you didn't. You came here to leave. It's a paradox. Um, <laughs> you have to let it go. And then the truth is, some bushman in dimensional space made that hole, so we hold on to it, and he comes and yokes us up and puts us in another dimension. Um, but that's the idea, that these attachments that are way out here, we have to let them go. That power, okay, that the act of letting go, which is a non-action, is the withdrawal, the nullification of something that's holding us on, it builds power, it gives us power, it restores ourselves. We have a high level of power, we can't go higher than that, it's what we are. Mm -hmm. When you were sharing that, what was coming in, to me just listening was, you know, I'm imagining ex exactly what you started to sum it up as, which I think is a really great way to actually close, is I was, you know, envisioning, okay, so I'm detaching from, I'm letting go of all of my attachments. I'm taking every bit of my energy and I'm, and I'm allowing this energy to be detached from what's external and I'm absorbing it all internally and I'm, and I am becoming, or I am just being, and as I'm, as I'm letting go and all this energy is being encapsulated within me and I'm just being, I'm also going, <laughs> And just, you know. <laughs> well, that's what it is because you're always spinning and so yeah. if, you have all these, if you're like a you know you got strings and these things on the outside it's not going to spin as fast as it was before you're not actually gaining speed yeah. you're going back to what you were when you didn't have these this, this karmic drag yeah. literally as if you're in hyperspace and it's pulling your realities to a low spectrum of possibilities that keep this person these 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 uh you know, the, the mind in these, these matrix systems. Mm -hmm. they, they literally mapped out these matrix systems. Of course, I mixed the phase that I'm talking about, but come on, people, it's not that important. Um, that the people, okay, um, no, the people who, I'm not even gonna go there. The people who created the matrix systems, um, they, they, instead of blocking off the lower levels, they blocked off the higher levels. Yeah. So it's literally, all you can see is, if, if you don't use that spirit, if you look at what your head, it's like, oh, it's just damnation and destruction yeah. and ever, and, and, and LL Cool J, 1980s songs um not uh, that was part of so this is a lyric out of, <laughs> out of mama said not you or something um and anyway now i'm getting real out of there i'm gonna wrap this up yeah or unwrap it if you will yeah. you wrapping dimensionally is unwrapping into the higher when we're squeezing down here the other end of it which is actually above us because we're inverted at this point but it looks like it's that way we're going in we're not going in we're going out into the real oh we unfold on the other end which is crazy it's like we're a balloon that got sucked inside out by some 
weird process that we agreed to for some manufacturer consent reason because the whole idea is just like somebody said I got this really good idea this plan but you gotta basically it's gonna suck and you gotta agree to have everything suck for a while and it's like all right let's do that and so what who did we save by doing this ourselves so it's like the guy that started it didn't even benefit from it he was just like ah, I was running away like a trickster for the universe I'm like good um, but once it happens it can't happen again and if anything can happen in a spectrum of realities then that's the point of going through it because now we know it can't happen ever again and we're 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 the the eternal guardians of that, if you will. And so that the, what we're holding on to that's slowing our spin down, that's the attachments and it's literally emotional, mental, psychoetheric, uh, bioetheric, bioemission implants, uh, these etheric devices implants, they're literally frequencies. If you're a spectrum of choices, possibilities, not behaviors, but, but uh, intentions. Okay. These are frequencies that are low on the intention scale of spirituality, free will, and in that sense, selflessness, and they're, they're, they're low on that and high on the mundane uh, desire-based aspect, aggressive animal monkey mind thing. The, the lower aspect or the higher is in control, one or the other. And so when we let go of that, it literally, we're already spinning, all that happens is it increases the spin. The increasing of the spin one way, it begins to open a uh, simultaneous expansion in all directions at once. It's an expansion, contraction, a paradoxical beingness that is forwards and backwards in time because we're not looking at a spinning dish here. We're looking at your etheric signature in hyperspace. And when you do that and your power level increases, you don't, you, when you contract and become more refined, you, you, you expand. You don't, um, you don't get smaller like the ballerina. Your power gets so defined that now you're in the realities that you belong to. And in that sense of the possibilities of this, this time matrix, you expand beyond the bounds of the matrix where there's like a specific set. You, it's like a volcano or something and it can't hold you in anymore because there's literally, it literally looks like a time matrix. There's a grid of algorithms and the same frequencies keep happening over and over again like a marionette doll and the strings break and it like runs off the screen. And breaks the laws of physics. So your consciousness deviates through time, space, boundaries, and you see more than you were supposed to. That's 21 minutes farther than I was supposed to go. Um, and so the, the, so the last one, that's the energy, and they can help with the harmonization, bounce you in, but you got to let go of attachments. They can increase your spin by helping that bouncing. Through that, they can increase your, your uh, energy, beaming with a little bit of love energy to the point where that, which because the point is how to make it so uh, basically layman's terms, human understands it. Well, I let my fist go. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. What's going on? All right. Think about the worst thing that ever happened to you. Are you okay with that? Are you in love with your whole existence? I want to kill that person. Okay. Well, those are your attachments. That's your emotionality. The point is, if some group of master, not master is the worst word I could have used there, group of adepts surround you and beams love energy into you, you're going to start weeping and that's going to be this, this wound deep within healing and it's going to restore what was taken away from that. And as well, that guy that's running around with a piece of your soul energy, all of a sudden he's going to start coughing and getting sick because they survive off of the suffering of ripping the soul energy out of people. And to do that, you can't say, here, give me some scoops. They have to molest and torture and rape and do all this weird stuff. That's how they, they feed. Weird, weird thing, but that's the point. And so they can do this with technology and spiritual knowledge to literally beam heart energy and, and, and activate, it's literally like boom, jump starting someone's heart. It's sparking the, the, the process of the awakening of the heart. You can't, they can't do it all. The person has to begin to do that already. They accelerate. That's why it also doesn't, there's no such thing as permission. There's no such thing as privacy. Nobody has permission. Nobody has free will in terms of what happens in the world. You only have free will over what you do. So in that sense, that question makes no sense. Two, what you do, anyone can come along. You're running up a hill. Anyone can come along and give you a little boost. You're not going to sit there and be like, no, I'm going to literally run out of fuel and water and I want to die in this desert. No one would do that. No one does that. And if a person does do that, guess what? You go on the psych ward. Not this psych ward, but the universal psych ward, the actual nursery. Okay. So, universal terms, it's a nursery where everyone loves you. Not a place where you get jabbed and injected and stuff and there's like all this molestation and weird stuff going on. No, that's an, uh, ball, uh, it's crazy. Um, but that's the point that if a person here to help you, it's like, we're here to help. We're going to be a boost. And the person's like, no, I don't need help. I'm going to die. Screw you. Of course, that's because you need help. You just literally proved our point. It's like, all right, I'm going to do it on my own or something. Okay, well then, chances are they're not going to ask. You're not going to need. You're not going to need help. That's the whole point. It's just a spark of intentions. So the people who are already doing this, if their trajectory is pointing in the direction where they want to go, and there's just a little bit required power, 
They're not going to say because you didn't completely overcome everything perfectly, even though your intentions are pure. And if we gave you a, not gave you a, a ride, none of this is done to people. Meaning it, it can't also, it can't be done for people. It cannot be done. They have to do it this themselves and they can be assisted in that. That's the whole point. But if they say somebody was teleported into heaven or something and their trajectory was right, their heart was pure, they let go of attachments, there wouldn't be a problem. If you take somebody who didn't do that and put them in heaven, it begins to, there's clouds now and it starts to thunderstorm and everybody starts to get sick and, and die and they have to leave that locality and that leaving is that person going back into the hell realm of, of the mundane of earth or whatever you want to call it. It can't happen. It, the two don't mix like oil and water for somebody who hasn't let go of that, that, that lower aspect. It's the last aspect is the least uh, easy to explain or understandable. But it's like there's, an, there's that happen and then there's an infolding that occurs. It's like an inside out unfolding where what we are here and that we have to go from the pyramid down here to the pyramid up there. And we become spirit, we step into the embodiment of true spiritual awareness. We basically, when the energy is high, when there's attachments that are let go and it's clear and we're spinning uh, in the centered perfect and the energy is high, we're doing this whoa, 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 like you're doing, it's expanding. We do something there, which is only described as stepping into the fullness of your being. And whatever choice you make there is the energy, just like the long body. It's not, when you do that maximally, it's not a minute, a second, an hour. It's one life in one motion. Whatever you do in that point, in that pinnacle, that becomes who you are for eternity. That becomes the, the uh, evidence, the, the eruption, if you will, the, the, the expression of who you are spiritually for all eternity. And uh, we don't get opportunities to do that much. You know, imagine that. Like, but this is what's happening to the species that we're going to get this pinnacle event. And that's the, the, the breaking of us. We go into time at that point. And in that sense, we go out of time. We're into an eternal state where it's all of time. So you, gotta, you wanna do that the right way. You wanna do that. Whatever you do there is gonna be who you are forever. No amount of what can happen after that can change this. Like you have a pinnacle event in your life and somebody does something one way that they don't want because it doesn't represent, represent match themselves. Now they're not themselves for the rest of their life, and it's always chasing them. It's like this for eternity. We don't, you only get one of those, basically, but also the idea is that you make it. You make it what it is, and you always get a chance as long as there's a civilization around to get to that. But the point is, if we have a bunch of tech and a bunch of wars and a bunch of crazy stuff people are doing because we're at that point where the frequency is just saying, make your decision, people, what, you're going to become immortal techno gods and not have made the decision of overcoming these fears and this and the other, or what, you're going to become this spiritual cosmic being that becomes all of your bloodline ancestors permeated through one moment in time connecting through and you know everything, but you're not going to get over your fears and this and the other. It's beckoning us to overcome this because what the, 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 the barrier between having to do this because it's now and not having to do this because it's off in the distance is shrinking. And the more stuff that we do here is leading up to this pinnacle of, of, of awakening of all of time and space where we can't hide it anymore. So it, you know, it's, you do it as long as there's a physical plane here to, to subside, if you will, to give you that opportunity to fall asleep so that you can wake up. Physical plane is not always going to be here. We're getting, there's some people that are so advanced that their emotions alter time for all of the species, alter civilizations. These groups, the majority of them, are actually trying to limit that so the timelines don't collapse because some people are waking up and if they have a bad day, it alters 100 million people's days. And that's what's going on. And then you see, imagine groups of that. You know, so, so that's what's happening. And our species is reaching the point where now we're in a, 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 a trajectory, a, a uh, interference pattern where we, what we do is at such a high power level that our mind and our physical essence is becoming one regardless of how it's going to turn out, regardless of the difference between it, meaning once it forces to happen, that ego is still there. And that's where we're projecting into this fake holographic puppet marionette doll. What happens to an ego between two trucks or something like that? They, it blows apart. You don't want that. You want to be in the spirit when that happens and to merge in this, this transcendent, if then, you know, physical, metaphysical, high, low thing that becomes one eternal aspect that can't be defined. If it's, we think it's one defined thing, what happens to that definition? It goes and just destroys itself. It's this thing that spins, that rips apart because it's imbalanced. So that's what's, what's happening. That's where we got to be. And the last thing is uh, stepping into that. It's basically, it's kind of like a sealing, uh, like a seal of your, your beingness because it's like you make an intention in that spot, in that pinnacle of that high energy of literally a high spiritual experience where there's so much feeling in you. There's so much happening within you 
that whatever you do there becomes more important than any other experience that you've had. And when you do that, and it's pure intention of free will and pure being, it basically seals you into this eternal state. It's like you reach the high level of, of, of uh, frequency. It's like a thermometer or speedometer that matches and tells you throughout the night or your heart rate monitor or something that tells you what was the highest level and the lowest level or something. That matches your highest level. That level is what is throughout all eternity. It can never really go higher than that because we don't have such a way of holding the mundane, the low, and stretching out and making the top. You can go in heaven or the eternal realm and you're just going as high as you can go. But what does that mean if there's no base level of the pyramid to stretch it out to make it expand and be proportionally relevant and therefore dualized in this materialistic world to show you at the lowest of the low and the highest of the high. We need hell down there so that we can push heaven up here and make that in-between as expanse. We need to use this place to make that in-between as expanse as we can because that's our universe from there on out in time. And so we, all those combined, we do that with the... And there's the pinnacle is just the self-awareness intention stepping into your being. I, that's all I can use to describe that. Now, that's the one no one can help you do. If somebody can clean up your, your, your ego, this, that, and the other point, like there, that's going to rip you apart. You don't let go of that, et cetera, so on and so or, or you don't move to the center of that, the harmonization, the first aspect, then the, uh, the, the letting go to increasing the spin. They can point it all out. They can help that up, loose it, whatever. They can't say, all right, now be who you are, except fall into places and, and let it be not fall into places but you know that none of that works you got to do it to yourself it's a little piece within you that accepts and and is what it is and you 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 simultaneously become what you are by being what you always have been and and it's something that happens it's that zero point in and out and when it happens it goes as far as it can go and it the idea is that when it maximizes and goes beyond the limits of what we call time and space you're essence merges with spirit spirit is non-local outside of this awareness basically you you become self-aware in that state that's the idea you become you do all those things maybe you're, you're just doing them you become self-aware at this point you self-observe and you create this feedback loop that creates that that epiphany of happening and when that occurs your body merges with the spirit and you're in an eternal state and that means that who you are here can never go away it, you become who you are forever the only way to do that is to be the pure intentions, the pure heart. The mm -hmm. ego, the other aspect, can never do that. It gets shot back out of the end like the, the camel through the eye of the needle. It never makes it to the fractal convergence point. It basically degrades, melts, whatever you want to look at it as. Like you're trying to shove a steel beam through a, uh, a pinhole in a, in, a, in a pipe or something like that. It doesn't work. Um, you'll get a lot of energy and a lot of heat, but it's going to spray half of it out and it's going to rip the whole structure apart. And so in other essence, the heat, the energy increases. It's only possible when we remove the efficiency, the drag, basically like taking your clothes off. It's like the, uh, the spiritual clothes, the garments of the stuff that holds us back. That is our identity that is only relative to this world. We become that non-local identity, which is beyond names, beyond definitions, beyond all that stuff. And, but the point is you accept yourself as the true identity. That's like the, the I'm trying to describe the last part of it because it's the most vague it's the only part that only you can do, but it, it's, you know yourself fully for the first time. Put it that way. You know yourself fully for the first time after all of that. And that person you know there never goes away. It's it, not immortal because it doesn't die. A body becoming immortal is a, a loophole you have to use to keep the body alive. It becomes eternal, everlasting because it's pure energy. Mm. I think that that satisfied me at least. In yeah, no, that's part. Yeah, that's good. And, you know, then thank you very much. I, you know, the one thing that to me is just so really clear because you're not the only one sharing this information. Uh, there's different ways that people express it, but it, it's really about just knowing that you are, you have created your reality, knowing that you, um, in order for you to exit this uh, universe or, you know, to um, what you shared, there's to anyone so, um thank you and this i don't want to say rambly because these are some of the concepts that uh well, when you see what they really mean rambly is the least of the the words or the worries and that's the paradox as it is i don't want to say that because it's degrades it or something well no because it doesn't matter and well, it's, the audio is it's a paradox of what it is but it's pure once once we all understand what it is that we're in control and uh and it was like a, a few questions there, but just a bunch of, of talking. But it's, it's uh, it might be one of the only things we actually need to through and through understand, at least, you know, my humble, yeah. rambly opinion. 
because it covers the um, the concepts of the timelines, the organizations. Basically, a pyramid is the higher dimensional organization. A spiral from low to high is the differential for universes. It's not a line. It's not a incremental. It's a fractal spiral, and uh, the fractal holographic infection is the repeating of the same loop over and over again, which is by memory wiping and going into the this nightmare zone in between rungs, days, moments, universes, weeks, whatever you want to call it, because all time is the same, and letting the, the lower aspect of our imagination overtake the, the higher aspect. Um, and uh, the uh, self-validation, scapegoating, uh, staying true to self-accountability, the upcoming unveiling, which has already begun, but these yeah. possibilities for programming, memory restoration, solar flare, solar changes, um, interdimensional, extradimensional concepts. Oh, and then the other thing that I didn't say is the, uh, I wrote down, I remember I wrote it down when I looked, is that one of the main things about why this period is what it is, is that in 2010, I was informed the government, there's no such thing, they also showed them, all these government officials come out, it's like, dude, they run the show, we're just, we just like play poker with y'all, that's right. how we, yeah. we play with your money, that's all we do. And we're not trying to be assholes, it's, we can't, what do, you, what do you mean, what are we gonna do? So I was like, wow, damn, all right, there's no government. Um, but uh, are, are using a remote viewing, they've been, they had to shut it down because it was creating quantum uh, temporal distortions, which is like feedback loops, and that could have been the cause of these paradoxes as well. It begins again in September because the solar, so now it's tying all together, the, it was because of some energy coming through from some galactic center, and I don't believe in external space, and they don't either, apparently, but it's a way of looking at holographic information in a mapped out form. It's like a blueprint in your computer system, and if you went and said, file system here, home folder, um, this program, you know, a DV drive, DVD drive, whatever, and you literally looked at your computer and tried to find the one block and the other block, and the other, it's clearly not physical. It's a blueprint. You can see the pieces, but they don't look like that. They're all just jumbled together. Um, that's kind of how they describe the universe in these different areas. And for instance, galaxies, you just go over there, tweak the energy that way. Now there's a different galaxy and it opens up and you see this different timeline. It's like, is that? Yeah, that's Earth 3 or something like that. Whatever. Um, and then there's the one that the other guys took over and stuff like that. And they're all managing it like time, their timeline management. And, um, but uh, there's some high energy. And so they couldn't keep the viewing device open because the energy was making the information surrounding what they were looking through merge in with what was viewing and if it basically crosses the stream fully or and disconnects while the viewing is taking place it causes this type of weird quantum uh, di uh disconnection or collapse basically the people viewing become lost in time and they can't actually cycle around back to the, the present moment the exact second and it's as if they're like they it's really weird they become like these quantum ghosts that have to lay these 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 um pathways up for people to find the, the, the secret knowledge or pathway and go to the location and there'll be a vortex point and they can communicate there but other than that they can't actually re-access this universe it's really really weird and part of these situations were to regain the operatives that were more or less lost in time which uh is a really cartoony shortcut way of explaining it but and for the people who don't really have another way of realizing what's going on that's the best way to look at it and so that caused a lot of problems. So they deactivated the system. It reactivates September. And everyone says, we can't have you activated again. The dark groups that are like, ah, well, stop us. Go ahead. What are you going to do? Uh, I don't even know. What are you going to do? Whatever could be done to them, they do to anybody. The, weak, the most innocent of beings, they do it. So it's like they're, they're cosmic level, those beings. And, when, and so in other words, they're saying, you're going to possibly destroy the universe. Great. Let's do it. Whatever. And so, so everything is about overcoming that. And to overcome that, we have to stabilize ourselves through that method, that, that essence that I described to the point where if we all did that, mm -hmm. the universe could blow up. It wouldn't do anything. We could literally paint the universe as we walk around ourselves because then there's more mind than physicality. Remember, if something happens in that state, you go to a universe, a timeline where that didn't happen. It's by choice. It's not by incident. And so at that point, Nobody can do anything. They know that. They know that's why they want people to stay out of power and, and keep it low vibration, uh, low energy, because the same cycles keep repeating. And they're content with that. They're like grown up kids with uh, apparently they had every disorder known to man and disorders that have not been named or invented in this dimension yet. And they just part of their rituals. It's how they do it. It creates these fomenting of desires and problems that fully inverts the structure and creates this transsexual energy of cosmic 
higher, lower demonic possession beingness. And, uh, and so it's basically difficult, very, very difficult to communicate with them, but they know fear and they know the end. And so part of this was though, okay, we, we technically we, the leeches don't want the body to die. Yeah. They know that's the only way they can actually die. Right. They can hop from body to body, but they can't make their own food. And so they know if they go into a place where there's everyone's dead, they're not going to come back. There's no, they don't have no, they don't have a box to put themselves into. They kind of seal that off for themselves. Mm -hmm. The only box they have is an eternal abyss. Yeah, I've, I've been saying, for t I've been telling, you know, a lot of people talk about depopulation and I'm like, you know, it doesn't make sense if, the, if, yeah, that's the algorithm for the audio balancing. It, it, uh, as, oh. as, much, as, <laughs> yes, no. as much energy, that's the algorithm for the audio balancing. It, it, uh, as, as much energy as possible, but the lowest uh, uh, awareness as possible. Yeah. It's just like kids or something. They want people in an eternal, uh, innocent state where they have no their eternal vulnerability state. Not really innocence, but vulnerable. And also, yeah. they do want innocence because they can't feed off of impure parts. They can't feed off of themselves the same way they can feed off of somebody who doesn't do anything that they do. Yeah. It's part of this whole process. And so, uh, yeah, and then the holographic nature of the place and how outside of the physical, it becomes a virtual kind of holographic projection where even if you look at systems that map it out, it's a uh, it's virtual and uh, in nature of the parasites, uh, physical imagination, spirit is long body, highest potentiality. The base reality is the highest potentiality. The mundane is the lowest. And then uh, check out the discovery and, uh, and then so a little bit about the extraction. So thank you. Um, yeah, thank you. I, this was a good one. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. I have, I seemingly have the most fun with, with you on these, uh, these excursions.